Deputy President Harigadi Gashiagwa has asked leaders in the ruling Kenya Kwanza to stop talk on 2032 succession politics since the government's focus is rebuilding the economy and that is the route they should all take serve the people. Speaking in Bungoma County, the Deputy President said he is committed to fulfill his mandate as Deputy President. As a country, we are facing difficult times economically. The President and I and the rest of government are very busy working on the economic revival of this country, trying to create opportunities for employment, trying to look for foreign investors for direct foreign investment in this country. Now, now, in Guinea, what we do, we put there, we now get a mambo ya uchaguzi ya 2032. Those are people who are lost. We are only one year in office. How can you discuss 2032? Even 2027 is a premature debate. Sindio? Mimi sitaki mtu anihusishe kwa hiyo debate ya 32 na nini. I am busy nikisaidia rais kufua uchumi. Niko busy kwa mambo ya kahawa na maziwa na majani chai. Saa hii nangangana na mambo ya El Nino. Mimi niko pale kumsaidia rais every day kuchia cabinet committees. Ananituma ngambo, ananituma hapa. We have no time to engage into useless and productive debates about 2032 is premature, is unnecessary, is a misadventure. Na ningetaka kuuliza viongozi wetu wale waka kukanya kwanza. Let us focus on the economic transformation of this country. Let us focus on assisting President William Ruto to get this country on the right economic trajectory. That is what is important for this country now. When the time comes kwa hiyo maneno, huko mbele, that is very far away. I don't understand how in one year people are talking about 2032. Nine years to come. Unajua jata kama utakuwa uwai. Iyo ni mazugumuzo ambaye ni duni. That is useless talk that has no place in our country. As a country, we are focused on the economy. And all discussion should revolve about the economic transformation of this country. Iyo diyo mambo ya mana for now. If there are those who want to engage in those debates, please don't drag us into that nonsense. As we want to focus on the right thing, Narikumusaidia Rais, assisting our country to get back our country on the right path in matters economy, the welfare of the Kenyan people. In line with his mandate of overseeing reforms in the agricultural sector, the deputy president said the reforms in the coffee, tea and dairy subsector will soon be filled by farmers, maintaining that he remains undeterred to ensure farmers reap from their efforts. Mimi ni melewa, nyinyi ni wakulima ya kahawa katika hapa mlima Elgon na katika county ya Bungoma. Yale mimi ninapambana nae nilipewa hilo jukumu na rais wetu. Na mimi sipigani wakulima ya pale mlima Kenya peke yake. Napigania mkulima wa kahawa katika Jamhuri ya Kenya. Mimi nimetebea inchi ya Colombia kwenda kuangalia mambo ya kahawa na ukulima wa kahawa na mambo ya soko. Wiki tatu iliyopita nilikuwa nimetebea Ubeljiji na nikatebea ujerimani kutafuta soko ya kahawa. Dio niweze kuunganisha vile nimeagizwa na rais. Wakulima wa kahawa na wakunyuaji kahawa direct bila hii mabroka ya hapa katikati. Kwa sababu hao di wananyanyasa wakulima. Pia tumefungua mazugumuzo na serikali ya Amerikani. Hivi karibuni kuna kampuni za Amerika sitakuwa sikitembea hapa. Na mimi nataka ni yakikishe nyinyi. Hii vita ya kahawa ni kale sana. Kwa sababu zaidi ya miaka 35 na tano. Hao middlemen, hawa brokers, wamekuwa wakikula jasho ya mkulima. Na wamezoea kukula na kukula vizuri. Saza kutoa nyama kwa mdomo ya simba ni kibarua. Mutaniombea mungu. Mina ngagana na hii watu. Na lazima tuwaondoe kwa tika hii hesabu. Wakae kando. Ama wakikubali, ile faida wanapata kubwa wakubali tugawe katikati. Sisi ya tuna shida na hawa, kwa hivyo mimi nataka kuwakishia nyinyi, iyo vita ni ya wakulima wakahawa yote Kenya, na vile papa aroma ameniuliza, 
mwaka ujao nitakuja tukue na mkutano na wakulima wote wa kahawa katika kaunti ya Bungoma ndio tuweze kuelewana tuwaeleze ile serikali nafanya na tukubaliane vile tutasonga mbele